What's up everyone? It's Damon. It's Joe. And it's Maya! <laughs> Look who we have with us today! <laughs> And you know how to make an entrance. That was a really good entrance. <laughs> right. All right, so we're here with Shameless Maya, who also makes amazing YouTube videos. We're doing collaboration, so there's also a video on Maya's channel about travel. Traveling on a budget. We've seen in the comments below that you guys want to know all about moving from New York City to Los Angeles or vice versa. We've done it, and so we has all Maya. Done it. We all lived in Harlem. We all lived in Harlem. At the same time. Question number one, which city is friendlier, New York versus LA? These are like complete polar opposites. LA gets stereotyped as like this city that's kind of fake and everyone's so superficial. New York gets stereotyped as they're like everyone's so rude. Which and like, I don't even find. I, I, mean, I Okay, let's you, 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 <laughs> you just have to say one thing. Sorry, I'm going on and on and on. New York is ruder and people need to go like this so you're not as friendly. I have a response. I think people in LA are so almost borderline pretentious or even like um, self entitled. I love New Yorkers because they say, like, say how, it as it how is. It is. Tell it like and it is. yeah, so it's just like I'll be in an elevator and a New Yorker will start a conversation. Exactly. And it doesn't seem fake or false. Here in LA, people are just like honking their horns. Like, yeah. yeah. So you pick. New I York think is New York is friendlier. Okay. Oh! I feel like people here are so used to being in their tiny bubbles, so you're in your car, so you don't have as much human interaction. Whereas in New York, you're jam packed in a subway, so you will always find something ridiculous to laugh with a stranger about. So that is something that brings people in New York together, so it's just friendly. New York or LA? New York! Oh! New York. <laughs> What are two of the best and worst things about each city? Best thing about New York, the efficiency of the subway, but there's a part B to that because a lot of times you're in New York and yeah, you can zoom from place to place, but then there's times when it's like MTA's down. seven train not running to Flushing, Queens. Like I love New York for its culture. There's so much culture. There's like a melting pot and you're in it, whether you're on the train or at the bodega or wherever. It's just so eclectic and, and there's lots of different types of people here. For me, this is something, this is like the worst part about LA for me, but this is the best part of New York for me, it's the people. I feel like the struggle level is what makes New York City interactions more authentic. True. Whereas in LA, everything is a little bit easier and nicer, so you don't have this like deep-rooted conversation about life. Let me, go, let me go off the worst because I think that's kind of the problem with living in New York, that you think that life has to be stressful and it's like, come on, like you can live in LA where everything's, you have the same like opportunities, more or less but your lifestyle is just so much more human. I'll say this, the relation of where LA is, like you can do road trips, I love road trips, hence my car, but like I could drive to Arizona, I could drive to San Francisco, I could drive to Mexico, so I love LA for where it is and where I can travel. That's a good point. The worst part about New York, which like we all kind of said, I think we're all gonna relate, is the rent. Like I mean, oh, yeah, yeah, what? Yeah. how do you expect me to pay $1,400 for a space this a big? Box, yeah. The worst part about New York, hands down, are those damn roaches and mice. I will <laughs> okay, we got rent, we got roaches. What's oh, the other R, Joe? The third R. <laughs> the third R, like, rest, lack thereof. <laughs> lack thereof <laughs> sleep. Oh, York, yeah. yeah, you don't sleep in New York. The worst part about LA for me is the damn traffic. It takes me, like, an hour to get from where I'm at to Hollywood. I'm like, what? It's, it's like, like you're in the same go. city. I was like, okay, I'm not going. <laughs> yeah, Google Maps just flashes. Do not don't even go. try. Don't try. <laughs> Worst part about LA for me, roaches galore. Like, I wake up in the middle of the night filled with bites on my body, but welts, like humongous <laughs> welts. I bit by she roaches. Sure did, Maya. Bit she by sure roaches. Did. And then I did a quick Google search and I found out that roaches bite what? in two areas. Yep. There was one night that I came home and within 10 minutes I killed 25 roaches. Oh girl, you gotta watch my roach video. You have a roach video. Insert what? here. Yes. It will, it will get rid of your roaches. The worst thing about LA is the number one reason people move here. I hate the heat and the sun. I'm not a sun person, I'm not a heat person, I'm not a summer person, I'm not a humidity person. No. He's giving you straight vampire diary. Yeah, he wants to live in like a tiny cave. <laughs> Next question, which city is more expensive to live? Which city is more expensive? New York, for me, I think was just hands down. hands down more expensive, especially you pay so much money in Metro cards, and then it's like you feel like the MTA is not doing anything with your money, whereas here, Maya, <laughs> you buy an unlimited Metro card and you see they're like building new stations. And for me, since I have a car, it's transportation. So LA is more expensive because you have to own a car. For you? Uh, I think they work out to the same. I don't know, for me, because I pay rent and then I pay for my car. In New York, even though New York was expensive, there was no car involved. I feel like, yeah, New York was more expensive for me specifically because I would always, I will New York is more 
be going to happy hours and like trying to network and taking people out just to like meet people and keep making moves. Like that was what was expensive and the rent. And this is the last one. <sighs> Which city do you prefer living in? I prefer LA. <laughs> LA. LA! <laughs> <laughs> LA. Yeah, it's we're like all the, whole, living in LA. <laughs> it's like the whole video, we're like, oh, New York, New York, New York, and then the last thing is like, LA! Yeah, 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 that's so yeah. funny. I feel like it's it's awesome to have a journey where you came from New York and moved to LA because it really is like your heaven resort in LA. If you're not living in either of these cities and you, you're thinking of it, I would say go to New York, learn that hustle, learn that grind, and then when you're over it, come to LA. Come and then to you're us. gonna have everything. <laughs> you, you, you wanna buy paradise. Also, if you wanna watch another video, in addition to the Roach one, you can also see on her channel, she did a New York versus LA video, yes. right? Yeah, and I break it down there. And we're also doing a collab on my channel. And exactly. traveling on a budget. Watch it. <laughs> Make sure to like this video, give us a few comments below about your questions about living in New York and LA, and we will see you on her channel. Yes, see I'll see you, you guys on my channel. Bye. Bye.